welcome back everybody. So it has been a minute since we posted our last video and it's been interesting for the last couple of months. Do you ever come across a really good deal and think, man, that is too good to be true? Whenever that happens, it usually is. <laughs> I just, I gotta say it. You know, I, I thought that going through a local kind of reef club, it might be a little more reliable. No. We thought that we had found a really good deal on what was sold as a 250 gallon tank with a stand and lights and... And we went and looked at it. I uh, took a video of how it was set up. There were some issues with it, but we decided to go ahead and buy the tank. So we rented a U-Haul and a week later we went and picked it up. We were very careful in transporting it. We knew that the tank might have some issues. There was a little crack on the frame that we had noticed and we thought we might have to repair the frame. When we got it home, we realized that we had made kind of a big mistake. When the tank was full of water and the lights were on, it didn't seem as if there was anything really that bad about the scratches that we had been warned about. The previous owner said that it had some scratches and he pointed out a couple of them. They didn't seem really terribly visible or problematic. And then when we got the tank home, we realized that it was kind of a disaster. I don't know what on earth happens to a glass tank to make it look like this, but it is not good. If you like solving problems, this is the hobby for you. Because there's no lack of problems to solve. Ever. But you know what? To be in this hobby, you gotta have a can-do attitude. So we decided we were gonna buy a sander, we were gonna learn how to use it, and so my wonderful husband took the time to understand it and get all the necessary parts and went to work trying to remove the millions of scratches that were on this stand. Well, before you can buff it, you've got to clean it. And so we went to town, we got the hose out, we got some barkeeper's friend, which I heard actually uh, works really well on cleaning stuff off of a fish tank. and. We cleaned and cleaned, actually, I say we, but my husband cleaned and cleaned up the tank to get it ready for sanding. And did it do anything? Uh, I don't know, maybe? It looks like it could be better? Maybe maybe we should try the other end where there's a lot of scratches and then we can tell if it made a big difference or not. Yeah. And the moment of truth. Here we go. It's a, it's gonna be amazing. I'm sure of it. it. It looks exactly the same. This is gonna take freaking forever. This is backbreaking work, guys. Look at this man working hard, and we're not getting anywhere. Maybe we could just live with the scratches. Maybe. Let's try it. Let's let's move forward. Now, at this point, the garage is thrashed. I mean, look at this mess. Let's try to scrape this weird decal off the back of the tank and try to paint it a similar enough color to where maybe it's not noticeable. I don't really want to have to scrape the whole tank or use acetone to clean this whole thing off. Like It would be better if we could just fix this thing up a little bit and move forward. So in the meantime, husband is doing some heavy lifting, tearing out some cupboards that we're not going to use. We're actually going to put the tank in that corner. It's got a couple of outlet options over there for electricity and away we go, right? Right. Looks like 
door with his camera. And you know what? The paint job actually didn't look that bad. After a few coats, it kind of got darker, and unless you're looking for it, you really can't tell that it's there. Now, it might, it might look more obvious when there's lights on it, but some of the gun. There's parts of the decal that we missed. I'm gonna scrape it again. Urgh. So now we've done all of this work, and we've got the stand in the corner where we want it, and we realize there's a problem. The holes that are drilled in the tank are about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter, away from the back wall of the tank. Now, the frame itself is two inches thick, so how on earth did this work in its previous setup? It doesn't look like, unless you shifted the tank forward on this stand, it does not look like it should be able to allow the downflow and return pipes to both go through these holes. And so we went back and looked at the original video and sure enough, the board is pushed forward a little bit off the stand and the tank is actually overhanging the board a little bit. So now we're really worried about the frame crack in the corner because if that is from pressure that was put on this tank because it was not properly seated on the stand, then it could have way more issues and we noticed when we went to buy the tank that he didn't have any kind of gate valves or anything set up to restrict the flow on the downpipes, so his sump and the area that that came out in was just absolutely overflowing. So we knew that the plumbing, you know, wasn't right. We were going to have to fix that, but it, the whole thing, like everything about this tank makes me nervous because there's so many little careless and strange things about it that I just... It, it makes me uncomfortable thinking that I'm going to put the fish in this and, and hope that it lasts and doesn't break apart in the garage. What are we going to do with this tank? I, I think we just have to accept the fact that this thing is not going to work. What if it broke open, even though we're putting it in the garage, okay? We're planning on making this a game room. If that thing busted open and flooded the garage, that would be terrible. Even worse, all of these guys would be poured out onto the floor and I would be heartbroken. And yes, I am emotionally attached to my fish. You didn't hear that. You know, I, <laughs> I end up talking to the fish. Don't I? Yeah, there's Stephen Hawking. Now, we're not actually having conversations. They don't answer back, but I'm pretty sure that sometimes they, they give me a very intense look of feed me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying. And so we have a communication style. Right, Flash? This is flash Rooney. Where'd you go? See, he disappears that fast. He knows when he's on camera. He doesn't like it. Flash, come back. There you are. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah. He's a shithead. And your gang is a shithead. Do you want to see something funny? Do you want to watch him try and kick this stupid razor out of the way? Yeah. Actually, I dropped the razor behind the tank when I was cleaning it. Let me get it. Hey, buddy. You want to help me clean the tank? Huh? What do you think? Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's gonna clean the tank. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. I have to be very careful now. <laughs> it does not like this thing in the tank. And I'm really actually worried it's gonna hurt himself. I have to keep it very, very close. He's a little territorial these days. He's gonna be too big. He's gonna be too big for this pretty soon. It's, it's, he's already kind of pushing it. He's obviously getting a little more territorial as he gets older. And in fact, in the tank right next door, we have baby Bruce, who is our, our itty bitty Harlequin Tusk. He's gonna be too big for that tank pretty soon. And I can't really put him in here. I don't think that would work out very well. So they all need to migrate to a bigger tank. But I hate, I hate buying a brand new tank when I know there's good ones out there. 
Does anybody have one? Do you guys have like a six foot tank, 24 to 30 inches deep, 24 front to back? Anybody? We're screwed. The hammer is enormous. That thing is just taken off. The mausolea has gotten bigger. All of our frags are doing really well. Ooh, look at those, look at they're doing great. Yep. There's a Masterina starfish. Got this giant <laughs> toadstool hanging out in here. But uh, yeah, it is outgrowing. I mean, look at how close these are. Is anybody else irritated by this part right here? Like, I feel like I can never really get that fully clean, even when I take the scrubber to it. Uh, uh, no. Uh, got it. <laughs>